charged by a nap. We are all ready to go down to Grandma and Grandpa's house. I like how Lindell's standing here drinking her milk. Uh, this was her idea. We opened the closet where the swimsuits are and those were like right on top and so of course they needed to go on. I don't know how I'm gonna get her in normal shoes to leave here. Uh, so after the golf tournament it's kind of tradition that all of the ladies that play that are all friends come down to my parents' dock and hang out and have fun and swim and have cocktails. So we are, I, I thought I would be intruding, like bringing some babies into that atmosphere, but my mom assured me that everybody would love to see them. So we're getting them into their swimsuits slowly but surely and heading down there. And it should be fun. I think we'll probably do some swimming. We might need to work on your pigtails a little bit. Looks like you had a great nap. Is that a cracker? We're gonna have some snacks. <laughs> it's gonna be a fun afternoon, isn't it, Junebug? Bear, what do you think? Just doing a little mowing, okay. <laughs> I was originally thinking like this should be an outside toy. But then, like, if I really think about it, why, like, I don't know why I care that it's in here. We have, these, these floors look like wood, but they're actually tile. They have, like, it's like radiant heat tile, I guess, which I don't really know what that means. I guess we don't have, like, a heating system, like the heat comes through the floor. So they're virtually indestructible. I say that, something will happen probably, but, like, I don't, I don't feel like that can do any damage to our floors or anything, so I just really don't mind that they vac or mow inside the house. Thank you, thank you. Are you gonna mow now? Let's, let's get our swimsuits on and go outside. Go to Grandma and Grandpa's house. Okay, we got sunblock, you can kind of tell on Junie's face. Sunblock squared away. Thank you, here, I'll take it. Is that right? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> so I packed some sunscreen. We normally use Baby Ganex. I got some of the spray stuff because they're really on the go and this is a lot easier to get them covered. I don't know. I, I know that some of these have chemicals in them and that people are nervous about using the chemicals in these, but we aren't in the sun where we need sunscreen that much, I guess, um, that they're not like covered with something, with like a UV top or something. So they just don't have a whole lot of this on their body enough for me to like not use it. And it's much better than getting a sunburn, that's for sure. Now this one actually just, I don't know what those ingredients are. Maybe I should research that better. Anyway, um, so we have a couple of nectarines. They haven't tried these yet, but they look good and they're, Nice and soft, softer than those peaches that we tried last time. Some of these Velveeta things, Lyndall calls them a cracker in her own little language. Loves these, it's really cute. Can you say cracker? Dato. That's right, Dato. Can you say cracker? Dato. That's right. And then some cheese. We will probably eat all of those on the dock. A couple of towels and a couple of um, diaper inserts down there and a couple other diaper covers for them. We need to change diapers, get swimsuits on, and then we're rolling. Lindell, there's nothing in there that concerns you. this week because with Brad being gone like 
there's just a few things that had to be done around the house, like the yard really needed to be mowed. We also need like a pest control company to come out. So like in between trying to take care of everything myself, I'm having to like schedule when we're gonna get our lawn mowed, which I think we're still debating what we're gonna do, whether we're gonna use a lawn service, which I don't think that we're gonna do because it's 7.45 and they're out here mowing currently. Man, that thing is huge. Yep, that's a lawn mower. Lawn mower. That is a serious lawn mower. Um, I don't know that we're gonna use a service because it's fifty dollars a week, and we'll probably have to have it mowed every week during the. Oh, whoa. So we're between that and they have like these robot lawn mowers that Brad was talking about in one of the vlogs that are kind of neat. In it would pay for itself in less than a year of us using a service. We just have to, <laughs> we just have to like, go through the motions of getting it set up and I guess somebody has to come out and like, assess where our gas lines are and who knows. But anyway, they're out there mowing because we just had to have it done this week. <coughs> our Aunt Laurie mowed it last time and she offered to mow it again this time but like, the day she could have done it, it rained and then they have a golf tournament and it just wasn't working out. So. One thing I was worried about is like, I have no idea when these people are gonna come when they have, when we have a service do it. And of course here it is 7.45 in the morning. Lindell is still passed out. She's on that iPad monitor there. But she's still sound asleep, even though they're literally mowing right outside her bedroom. <laughs> and Rusty barked like crazy when they first got here. Didn't you buddy? Intrusion. So anyway, that's, What's going on today? The lawn people are here. Mama, and then mama. lawn mower. Lawn mower. And then tomorrow we have the pest control people coming. There's like these, in Missouri there's these little, I don't know if they're like millipede or centipede. One of those is poisonous and it's, I'm pretty sure it's not the poisonous kind, but they're like this little worm that if you kill it, which is always on accident, we don't like smash them on purpose, but they smell really bad and they're like everywhere. Plus, last night we were sitting out on the patio and I had like a romper on and my swimsuit on underneath it and I felt something go down the back of my romper. The kids were playing. So like I stood up and it, something bit my back like three times. And <laughs> so I took my romper off really fast and then whatever it was bit my leg and I shook out the romper and it was like this beetle. Oh, it was so disgusting. I went, a beetle. I got a picture of it. A beetle. And I texted it to Brad and like, this was kind of like the icing on the cake last night because I had been having contractions like all afternoon and, I'm, and I had like five in a row that were all like five minutes apart maybe. And so I was starting to get a little concerned about that. And then this beetle go, falls down my shirt and bites my me. Mama. And I, mama. So I texted him, I was like, mama. this is what happened. I stripped out of my romper and this mama. came out and texted him a picture of it. Yeah, yeah. And he was like, wait a minute, so you're naked? Yeah. And then of course he can see the whole surrounding of the house on the security camera. So he hops onto the security camera and then texts me a picture of myself standing on the porch in a swimsuit. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, well, obviously I'm still in my swimsuit. So it was kind of funny. But as soon as like I started to, after I put the babies to bed and relaxed, then the contractions slowed down and stopped. But it's unnerving, like it makes me think we need to get, what's our plan okay. if this goes down? I mean, I just feel like we need a plan in place. Who's gonna watch the kids? Who's gonna, like while Brad's gone, which is another few days, like five days. Who would watch the kids? Who would take me to the hospital? Would I have to take myself to the hospital? Would we call Carrie, our nanny, to watch the kids? Like we just, we need to maybe have a plan in place. And it'll be, of course, a lot easier when Brad's here. I feel like he'll take me to the hospital. My parents will come up and watch the kids. Uh, would be like the obvious thing. But I don't know, just makes you start to think about what, what's gonna be the plan if labor happens and I do not remember this many contractions this early with the twins. It's just a little scary, especially like last night I was starting to get nervous because it was, there was like five in a row. 
I think more than six in an hour <laughs> is what they're concerned about. I do need to call my doctor and confirm that. Is that bear? Is that boo bear? You're so cute. Do you want to show them your new book? Book. Book. Do you want to show them your new book? Can you say bicycle? Why are you whispering? Say bicycle. <laughs> um, he also says watermelon. Watermelon. It's close. Watermelon. What about flamingo? <laughs> You're gonna be yes, good. <laughs> good job, bear. Flamingo. Can you say boot? Boot. How about boat? Boat. 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 Okay. Yeah. Can you say bug? Bug. You're cute. Is that water? Mwah. Okay, that's enough of that. So I have a load of laundry going of their diapers and I have our robot vacuum slash mop vacuuming and mopping currently. All while we play out here. Um, and we just visited Bumpa and Brooke is there for the week slash weekend. And I just had a moment where I was like, we may be doing things a little bit harder with the cloth diapering. Um, we could make our lives easier by doing disposables, but how much easier do we have it than the generations that didn't have washing machines, didn't have robot vacuums and mops, which was not that long ago. And like, I, I mean, I hope I don't sound like I'm complaining. I have been observing this last week and a half that Brad's been gone, how much goes into just keeping our lives running on a daily basis and keeping the kids fed and keeping the house picked up. And I'm doing that with the aid of a washing machine and dryer, a robot vacuum and mop, and a dishwasher. Like what if I didn't have those things? When would I find time to do that? And I think the answer is probably I would have less time to spend with the kids. And so like having those inventions is a luxury, but it's also something that buys you time with like spending time doing the things that, that matter. And I guess maybe some people enjoy doing those things and that's totally fine. There are definitely things about cleaning a house that I enjoy, but like just having something that can be done for me is so valuable because watching these kiddos grow up is so fun. Lindel Junebug, are you mowing? Hi. What are you doing over there? Chalk. You wanna draw? Here's some chalk. This got left out in the rain, didn't it? Chalk. So yesterday, just kind of going along the theme of just a lot of stuff that has to be maintained around the house, Yesterday was trash day. That's another thing. We have somebody that comes and literally picks up our trash and takes it. So yesterday was trash day and I, I don't know if I've ever been in a house by myself where I was the person that had to take the trash bin to the road. But yesterday, somehow, I remembered that it was Wednesday and that's trash day and I took the trash out to the curb and I was so proud of myself. And like in the moment that I was going back out and bringing the trash bin back in that was empty. I'm like thinking about how proud I am that I remembered to do that. Like if you guys know me at all, that's just really unlike me to remember something like that. So anyway, as I was bringing it back in, I realized that I had left their, their like canvasy fabric stroller and a book out in the driveway and it we had like this freak afternoon downpour. So <laughs> their stroller was absolutely soaked. There was like literally standing water in it. The book is totally ruined. But I remembered to put the trash bin out. 